In this video, I'm looking at the process of addition, though of course addition and subtraction are closely related because subtraction is the inverse of addition. So for example, because 13 add 5 is 18, then 18 take away 13 must be 5. At this stage, the children are encouraged to remember and use addition and subtraction facts to 20 fluently. They need to be able to answer quickly questions such as 8 add 6 equals what? Or 12 add what? makes 17. To solve this sort of question, they may still use their fingers or concrete objects such as units, or they may well use a number line or a number track such as a clearly marked ruler. And they'll begin to use their knowledge of number facts such as 7 add 5 equals 12, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 add 5 equals 12, to find related facts. So let's have a look at a few of these facts. 7 add 5 equals 12. And a related fact is that 17 add 5 must be 22. And 27 add 5 is 32. And higher up, 67 add 5 must be 72. They'll do lots of practice using concrete objects, again, units. And they will also be working mentally on questions such as 7 add 8 add 3. So three single digit numbers. Or 57 add 4. A two digit number add a one digit number. Or 63 add 30, which is a double digit number plus tens. Or 45 plus 26, which is obviously two two digit numbers. For some questions, they may find it helpful to use number lines, and they should be learning to sketch their own. Starting at 45, they can find that, there's 45. We're adding 26, so add 10, add 20 gets us to 65, and then count on the 6 to find the answer 71. They will begin to set numbers out in columns, learning about the units, or 1's column, and the 10's column. So let's look at the question 27 add 12. In columns, we'd write that as 27 plus 12. Those are the units, those are the tens. And the best way to illustrate that is with base 10 equipment. So 20 and 27, they must check they've got the right numbers. And 12, so 10, 11, 12. And we combine the units first, 7 add 2, so 7 add 2, they will know already that that's 9. And 2 tens add 1 ten, that gives us 3 tens, so the final answer is 39. But what this equipment shows best, questions such as 36 add 17. Put this out in columns, 36 add 17, and get the equipment, 36. 10, 17, 36 and 17. Combining the units first, we've got 7 and 6, or 6 add 7, which they will probably know is 13. Those 10 units there are enough to swap for a 10. They're exactly the length of a 10. So we're getting rid of those and bringing in an extra 10. So now we've got three units but we've got an extra 10. So we show the three units in the units column and the extra 10 in the tens column. Adding the tens, three tens, four tens, five tens. So the final answer, 36 add 17, is 53. The children need to practice and practice. With practice, they will begin to know some of the answers. But if they don't know the answers, confidence in knowing how to find them is the key to mathematical success.